I love learning about the body and how it works, and I love science, and I can combine those things that I find so interesting to really make a difference in someone else's life. When I was 17, I was about to enter my senior year of high school, um, my dad was in a motorcycle accident in the summer, and um, he actually fractured his femur, and we didn't really know why. My dad's probably been riding motorcycles since before he could drive, so him crashing was a really strange thing to happen for our family. And um, it was interesting because while he was in the hospital with the physical therapist, he actually had a seizure with her. And that's when we found out what was going on. And that's probably what caused his motorcycle accident. Had the PT not noticed something was off, you know, who knows what could have happened. And then when we came home, taking care of my dad was something that just felt really natural. Um, it was hel like helping him get in and out of bed, helping him learn how to use his crutches. That's not something that you see when you think PT, you think sports and squats. And it was something that I realized, you know, this is kind of what physical therapists do. Like that was something that I could do forever. So I did my undergraduate education at the University of Washington in Seattle. I got into my first biology class and I never really looked back. Physical therapy is a lot of science, a lot of physiology but I remember my senior year of high school watching Pitch Perfect. So that's the first thing I looked for when I got to college was, oh, is there an acapella group I can join? And I was in that group for four years. I loved it. And so when I came to New York, I remember my first summer here, it was kind of hard because I felt like something was missing. And I, there was like one point where I realized, oh, music is missing. So I went, like Googled all the NYU acapella groups and I found the ones that compete. I found the mixtapes and that was the only group I auditioned for because I was like, this is the only one I really wanna be in. And I'm so thankful that I got in because it's been a huge part of my experience at NYU. Graduate school is hard and taxing and super stressful sometimes. And being able to come with, to these people like twice a week with the mixtapes is so therapeutic. And being, and being a performer in general has helped me just be more confident when I'm talking to people. You know, your job basically requires you to be with patients all day long. And in a way, every session with a patient is kind of like a performance. You have to ask the right questions, you have to relate to them in the right way, you have to keep their attention, you have to explain things to them in a way that they understand. It's all a type of performance, I think. And people come to you and they're in pain. And their pain is not just physical, like it affects every part of their life. People who have permanent injuries, spinal cord injuries, where their whole life is different. And this isn't just PT that works with them, but PT does get to work with patients like that and help them learn what their new normal is. Because sometimes that's what PT is. There are so many different facets of it. Actually in New York City, with all the Broadway shows and so many dancers performing almost every night, um, they actually have physical therapists that work with them. And it's something that I learned that's really cool because it is a potential way for me to combine the performing arts that I love so much with this career that I'm going to school for. And I love that my options are so wide open, um, but I also love that in every one of those options, I get to use all of the tools that I've gained here to make a difference in so many people's lives.